The five years crisis that has rocked the Association of Nigerian Licensed Customs Agents and Alka seems far from over as the registered board of trustees BOT had pulled out of the peace move initiated by the Council for the Regulation of Freight Forwarding in Nigeria, CRFFN. Barely a month into the CRFFN mediation, the BOT represented by former president Chief NS Elochuku. Dennis Okafo and Mr. Dayo Aziz, in a chat with journalists, described the peace move as a monumental fraud designed to favor one faction. The former president, Chief Olochuku, who spoke on behalf of the board, faults CRFFN methodology in resolving the crisis, insisting that every peace move must also come with justice. The essence was to let you people know that the monumental fraud that is going on now in the name of reconciliation in Anarka, to say that uh, we are not part of it. And even to also tell you people that even our members who had been railroaded into it are also uh, not part of it. Pulled out. Yes, uh, they were railroaded. Uh, so, and to say that we are still intact. Nothing has happened to us. Uh, and because we are you, the members you are seeing now, what I mean to the press now, that we are the members you are now seeing, a uh, place who had come here at this short instance, short notice. And um, no doubt that considering the long time this crisis has taken, that any move for peace is most welcome. Abi? Yes. Uh -huh. But then, the question is what methodology is being employed? Or to put it more succinctly, what kind of peace are we hoping to achieve? Because there are many types of, many, uh, type of peace. We have a, a, a kind of a peace of harmony. When everything is in harmony, it's a peace. We have a piece of uh, tranquility where everybody is calm. We also have a shooting piece and we equally have the piece of the graveyard. It is us to determine, yes, when somebody says you want to make peace, what kind of peace are you making? And uh, we have always believed that a path to peace should also take recognizance of justice. There is no peace that will be done without justice. We have only seen, sometimes some people have come up to say they want to make peace in Anarka. And you hear them say something like, oh, uh, forget about uh, uh, how it started. Forget about who is right or wrong. Let's make peace. And the question becomes, how can you make peace without knowing what has happened? And this is what we have consistently been saying, that they should, those who say they want to make peace, should ask. Because it means they are not interested to know that this whole thing started with the one man refusing to vacate an office he entered into, whether how many years ago, when it was time for him to leave as a beauty chairman, and then the SY neck supporting him. That is the genesis of the crisis in Anarka. And so those who don't want to be told that this is a problem, we wonder what they mean when they say they want to make peace. Anyway, this conference is mainly to alert you, the media and the public, that the much touted peace which uh, the chairman of the CRF Governing Council, Alaji Sani, it's been going around. It's a monumental fraud. <laughs> eh? yes, and an attempt to subjugate one party in a, in a dispute to the interest of another party. <coughs> and if this is not injustice, can somebody tell me what injustice looks like? The BOT members also alleged that the acting president of the association, Dr. Kyle Farrington, last week held a closed-door neck meeting without the consent of the board. But the acting national president, Farrington, in a phone chat with our correspondent, 
the bunk to clean. 